Jerry, I'm freaking out. I couldn't find a single candle inside this place. You're kidding me. I can't believe it. Did you look well? Yes, every single room, drawer, box, cabinet, nothing. No candles. All right, listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. This is getting on my nerves. Come on, it's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician, who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Yes, he'll be doing me another special favor, and we'll be going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. Jerry, you won't believe this. It's insane. My car is dead. What? Are you sure? Have you checked its pulse? I'm not joking. It's gone. My friend, this completely redefines the term suspension of disbelief you sometimes use for your stories. I know. I'm speechless. I forgot the lights on and the car ran out of batteries. All because of that bloody fog. Jerry, you've got to help me. Get over here. Michael, look at the time. I can't drive to Northumberland right now. But, Jerry, I can't spend the whole night without one single source of light. I barely know this place, and I won't be able to find my way. Heck, I don't even know if it's rid of ghosts yet. Are you a sleepwalker, Michael? You lie down on the bed, you sleep, you wake up, and you'll have tons of bright light then. That's not helping. And you're the one who got me into this mess in the first place. Hold on a minute. It's not my fault if the electrician missed you for a few minutes, there aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay, listen. When will you be coming back to Rothbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town, stock yourself up, and then spend the rest of the day in your garden drinking some beers while we wait for Mr. Electrician. Sounds like a plan? Yeah, I guess. And I don't think there's any plan B either. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. All right. I'll be on my way there. Call me back if you need anything. And Michael? Yes? Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. I promise it won't. Goodbye. Goodbye.